Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I just wanted to go through to show you what happens when you actually turn on access point mode. Um, so what this does is switches the router from having all the full functionality of acting as a router access point um, and completing all the different tasks um, like the, the, uh, the assigning IP addresses and firewall and things like this. So what I've been recently doing is I had a spare uh, PC that was just sitting there doing nothing. So um, what I've done is install a uh, other router software called PFSense. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. There's many videos on YouTube and some really good ones as well um, that will go into more depth if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, and what that does is actually turns your old PC into a router um, so it can do all the uh, routing and things like that, the firewall functions and you can customize it. So I was just playing around with that just to see what the difference is. But of course, as you've got the uh, old PC running the PFSense software that is now doing the routing um, and the firewall and the DHCP uh, server assigning of IP addresses in the network, um, the actual uh, Asus router doesn't actually need to do that anymore. So as you can see here um, within the mode there you can see I've got access point mode so that's where I've changed it to access point so it's no longer a router. So when you switch that on you can see on the left hand side the options have now uh, basically reduced so as you can see there's no AI protection anymore because there's no need for a firewall um, and also the WAN um, option has gone and also NAT. Um, so the all the functions that for a router um, has now been switched off because you just want this to act as a Wi-Fi access point. So this is where it's just basically just um, going there and you connect all your Wi-Fi devices as usual to this but then this device will connect to another router and in this sense is my old PC running PFSense. And you can see it doesn't have a WAN IP address anymore, now it has a LAN IP. Everything else is roughly the same. And you can see there you still have AI mesh, so you can then uh, mesh these uh, routers, a game radar, and the Wi-Fi radar as well, where I've done other videos. The network map as well, the wireless. So all of those functions, because you're still connecting, need to connect devices to the wireless and everything else. But as you can see here, so under advanced settings and administration, now within the uh, administration under advanced settings option that we have here, you can see the five options. We have gone through these in previous videos. Um, so I won't go into great detail again for you, but as you know that normally when you install and buy the uh, router, it actually comes in the default mode and that is the wireless router mode. Uh, so that acts as basically you connect that to your internet, goes into the WAN port, and then you all your other Ethernet devices connect to the other LAN ports on there and then all the Wi-Fi devices connect to the router via its Wi-Fi channels and then that's it. You, um, everything is handled by the router so that gives it the IP address, um, you have the firewall, you have everything there the, and the uh, DHCP server, parental controls, everything is all in one interface and it makes it really good for the home user. So like what I've said before is that I've got now a router that I've built for my old PC using PFSense. Um, so I've changed this now into the access point mode. And as we said, it reduces the functionality. Um, so you don't need all of those because they're handled but now by the router that's connected um, to the internet that I've done using PFSense. So basically what I've done now is connect the uh, Ethernet cable from the WAN port on the back of my router um, and then I've connected that to a port on the my old compu e computer running PFSense. So this is where now the, uh, the GTAX 11000 is now getting the uh, IP address for us to access it and also now all the devices, the Wi-Fi devices that connect to the router um, are getting their IP addresses automatically assigned from the new 
uh, router that uh, running PF Sense. So it is quite automated and you don't have to worry too much about it when accessing it. But the, again, there's the functionality of like the parental controls. As you've noticed, the uh, options reduced down because um, you don't need them anymore because they should be controlled by the router that you're plugged into. Um, so yeah, so basically we've got the three functions. So the wireless router mode, as we all know, is just where it handles everything. The access point basically turns this into a wireless access point. Um, so the, all it does is you connect your devices to this and then this then sends the signal to your router and the router will do all the work with the IP address assigns, the firewall and everything else. Of course, using this here um, is very good still because you can still access all the um, Wi-Fi wi radar, the game radar, uh, and you can use the mesh mode as well. But also, you've got the functionality of uh, fine-tuning the wireless network so you can get the best of your uh, Wi-Fi devices. Again, you can still connect um, devices to the Ethernet ports on the back of this, um, on the back of the router, uh, so that doesn't stop you doing that. And then all that happens is that instead of the this router giving you the um, IP address and being protected by the firewall built into the Asus router, it actually um, gets the IP address via the um, other router that is connected to by the Ethernet via the WAN port that's connected to the PC. So I hope that's clarified a bit. So again, that's the main two ones there. You do have repeater mode as well. So in this mode, um, the basically the router wisely connects to an existing wireless network. Um, so that's basically to extend the wireless coverage. So if you need to connect and uh, extend the coverage and if the repeater mode can be used with other routers with different um, makes and models like with Netgear and TP-Link and things like that. So you can extend their range using this, uh, using our Asus GTX 11000. Uh, it basically just connects by wireless um, and then it will just repeat the signal that's coming from there and you just put it into that mode there. The, again, it will limit the functionality so you won't have the firewall function, the WAN and everything else because that's handled by your main router that you're um, actually uh, repeating. Again, they've got also the last option there's AI mesh mode as well. And this node is basically what we've got the option here and we've gone through in previous, so I won't quickly go through that. Um, is basically, again, it's for other Asus routers where you can connect and it does everything simultaneously and very easy uh, for you to do. And then again, uh, Media Bridge is around providing uh, two routers again. Um, so the Media Bridge provides the fastest uh, way of using uh, the Wi-Fi 5 and 6 connection for multiple media devices simultaneously. And what Asus, when they use the word media devices, um, all they mean is like your computer, smart TV, game console, DVRs, uh, media players. And uh, that can be via the Ethernet cable as well. Um, again, it's just sort of like another bridging kind of um, way to repeat something. Um, but in, it's not very um, needed, to be honest. Um, it's a very specific situation. You'd need the media bridge. Most would either use it in the normal router because um, it handles everything for you. An access point if you have another router already. Like some people, I think, mentioned they have got BT. So when you get the new BT fiber to the home now um, or any other uh, fiber or cable product to the home, it has its own router and that has to do with all the a firewall the NAT and uh, the IP addresses and everything else so this again you would set this up as on like I've done here as an access point um, so yeah, as we're concentrating this video just on the access point I'll just quickly have touched on those different other options I hope that's clarified also if you do have any other questions around this you can always uh, just ask so as you can see here um, all the as I said the functions are all the same you can still upgrade the firmware the system and everything else so that all stays the same as you can see here you can access and uh, all the options here of course the uh, accessing by WAN and everything else that has gone because you're now don't have that router function on here um, so if we go back to on wireless as you'll probably see here like I said nothing's changed you can still select your different networks and you have all the options here for the advanced and professional settings to change your wireless because you still need all your devices connected. 
um, and then the guest network you can set up and then LAN as well. So you'll see under LAN, um, you've got a less, you haven't got your WAN IP address anymore uh, tab at the top because that's been switched off. And then you've just got here your uh, IP address where it's going to get from the main router that you've connected the um, this uh, the GTA X11000 to. And as you can see here, I've just got left it as automatic. So it will go to my uh, new router my, that's running the PFSense software on my old PC. And it will just ask for an IP address from there. And then from here, all the device, wireless devices that connect to this router will automatically get their IP address via my new router that's um, the PF, running the PFSense. So it's all automatic and you don't have to do anything when setting this up. So it's not that complicated really. And as I said, it just reduces down the options you have. But again, then all the work and everything else um, has uh, then works basically onto the router that you've connected to. So that will do all the, all the most of the work of the firewall and also um, assigning IP addresses and all, all the basically the routing um, functions that you have so it'll be less work for this router here so hopefully it should not work tax it so much and also keep it about a bit cooler um with by temps and everything um so hopefully it'll last it a bit longer but to be honest i've never seen this overheat too much anyway and as if you've seen any of the videos where um people are actually um uh, tearing down the actual router it's got quite a lot of large heat sink in here so uh, it does keep it fairly cool and everything else for long term durability and everything. So this has just been a quick video just to show you how the uh, what the actual uh, interface looks like when you do swap it to um, into uh, AP mode or access point mode. As you can see, you still can see all your clients connected to here um, and the ping and everything else. It's just, as I said, all the router functions will be basically uh, be done on the uh, on the other router and this is just um, like a Wi-Fi access point where all your Wi-Fi devices still connect to it um, so yeah so this has just been a quick video just to go through that and just to let you know the different functions if you have any questions then please leave them in the comments and as usual I'll try and help you as much as I can okay thanks for watching and have a great day